Hi guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the worst purchases I have made and some of the best purchases I've made really over the past year. As I was planning for this video, I thought it would be a really fun video idea or this could be a cool series idea to do like best and worst purchases I made when I bought my house. So whether it's certain systems that I use for security or home decor or certain things that I just didn't find necessary, I think that would be fun. Even specifically like in my office or in my kitchen. So if you guys would be down and want to see more of those, let me know in the comments down below. I would love if you could comment and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me help other people find these videos. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I make a lot of lifestyle content, tons of vlogs, routines, purchases products all of that stuff so be sure to stick around we're gonna get started so the first one I have will come as absolutely no surprise to you guys for my best purchase it is my Kindle Oasis I am quite the breeder it is currently January 21st as I'm filming this video and I am on my ninth book of 2021 my Kindle allows me to read so much more I save money on books I'm able to read with the lights off which I know is like doesn't sound like the biggest deal I need things to be as easy as possible I can lay on my side so easy you can throw your kindle wherever you go also i'm someone who lives in a townhouse i read too much to have all these books like i don't have a place to put all these physical books okay it also helps me get motivated to read i love goodreads now like it's just really transformed my life so my kindle oasis was definitely worth it on the topic of kindle specifically the oasis was worth it to me because i read like two hours a day i don't think the oasis is necessary but for me just because i do read so much i wanted to splurge a little bit more so it's something i use every single day which most of these best purchases this is our things that I use every day. The next one being my latest Prada bag. Okay, listen up. I love designer handbags and I normally buy them like secondhand. I rarely, rarely buy them from the store. I bought this one from the store, but like 90% of the time I don't. I have been needing a good crossbody that I could just throw on when I run errands. I had a lot of shoulder bags. I have a great bag collection, but I didn't have a bag that fit the needs that I feel like I have needed this one for for the longest time. It's also chocolate brown and it's my absolute favorite color. So I will have it linked below i'll have everything linked below even if it's a worse purchase because maybe it'll be good for you i love this bag it's so versatile i can also take the straps off and it can be like a night out bag i just think it's really cute i know it's a bag that i will get so so much use out of okay my next best purchase would be instacart so this may be a worse purchase for a lot of people but for me i have found it easier to only get the groceries that i truly need so at the beginning of each week or whenever i'm doing my grocery shopping i also love cooking so i will plan out the meal Meals that I'm going to cook that week and then because it's on an app I just go through and I see exactly what I need and I add it to the cart and that's it It's also safer obviously with COVID times It also saves me a lot of time, but I also love going to the grocery store So it kind of just depends on the mood and Trader Joe's is definitely cheaper The problem being that when I'm at Trader Joe's I try to just buy the whole store So Instacart allows me to have more self-control and more planning preparation and Discipline when it comes to grocery shopping if that makes any sense. It also saves me a lot of time So it's it's been a really good purchase of 2020 honestly okay next thing my dining room table this table is a little bit frustrating because it does stain easily but other than that I absolutely love it I'm someone who gets really over certain looks I love this one I don't see myself getting over this and I honestly it's an indoor outdoor table so I think even in my next house if I'm not using it inside I'll use it outside I think it's gonna be a piece that I have for a very long time I invested in it I got it at CB2 I love 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 the look of it and yeah it's just been a really good purchase my next thing being my nordic track so i love going on the treadmill i have a gym in my house and it's something that i do almost every single day i love 12 through 30 comment down below if you guys are also doing it but this treadmill was such a good purchase i got it actually on facebook market which is a really good hack to find one good finds and just like more unique purchases for your home especially but also to just find good deals on like nordic tracks I saved hundreds of dollars buying it secondhand. A family 30 minutes away from me had it in their garage and they hadn't used it. They'd only used it like three times. They said they liked running outside, can't really. So I bought it from them and it was a really, really, really great purchase. I use it 24 seven. The next thing, so technically I was sent this product, but I use it every single day pretty much. So I had to mention it. I would buy it if I hadn't been sent it. I always pan from our place. So I've had it for 
probably like 10 months now. I use it every single day. I use it so often that I wash it and then I leave it out to dry. And normally before I can even put it back into the cabinet that it goes in, I'm using it again. It has pretty much replaced every other pan that I use. It's very rare that I use anything besides this pan. I cannot recommend it to you guys enough. I used it pretty much every single day for the past 10 months, like I said, and it still looks brand new. If you guys are considering investing in any kitchenware, I would definitely recommend this, especially if you're someone who doesn't have a ton of space. I think it takes the place of like 16 kitchen tools or something. So it's really good and efficient, especially if you're in a city like New York City or something. The next thing I have are my Ugg minis. Yes, I know Uggs are controversial. I love them. I wear them more as like cozy things. It's not like a fashion statement. However, like even today, I'm wearing this with jeans and then I have like a really big cardigan on and then I'm just wearing like baggy jeans with my Ugg minis. It's a very like Cameron Diaz from the holiday look, which is like all I aspire to be as we know. I wear them in public because I just don't care, but they're the perfect shoes because they're so comfortable. I personally wear mine like 24 seven, especially just around the house in just like running up to get coffee and stuff like that. I love them. The next thing would be my Ikea mirrors. So these, I have two in this house, so right there, and then out in my hallway. Between all the apartments and houses that I've looked in, I've always had Ikea mirrors because they're so big and they're such a good price, literally $130. You will not find a mirror that big for that price. Oftentimes, big mirrors are upwards of $500. So I love Love those I think that they're such a good find they're like my number one Ikea hack I love them so much next thing this will probably come as no surprise if you follow me on Instagram but I have these Sam Elliman boots that I bought I was just walking in the mall and I saw them and I went in immediately and bought them and I wear them pretty much every single day so when I'm not wearing my Ugg minis I'm wearing these white Sam Elliman boots and they are so cute they make my outfits look good because I'm not wearing my Uggs with them you know what I mean they're really cool I know so many of you guys have also picked them up just because they're like the most versatile how shoe ever but they're definitely one of my best purchases because I wear them all the time and they make every outfit look good last thing for best purchases would be my Canon M50 which is the camera that I'm filming on right now I also have what lens do I have it's a wide-angle lens I know that I love this camera I use it all the time I use it for sit-down videos I use it for vlogs it's just the best camera, honestly. I upgraded to this camera from my G7X and I kind of wish I would have kept my G7X just because it is smaller so it's easier to take on the go. But I do love this camera and it's definitely been a good purchase. Moving on into my worst purchases. Number one, DoorDash. So I want to talk a little bit about this because I actually think that if you are working and you didn't have time to prep lunch and things like that, I think buying time is a great investment. So the Skinny Confidential talks about this a lot and I really agree with their whole thing on this my dad is the same way by the time I make lunch and like lollygag around and whatever I'm spending like an hour doing that whereas if I were to just order lunch keep working I would make a lot more money in that time than I would if I just was like slowed down by making lunch so in a work setting or in a productive efficient setting I think that DoorDash is worth it what I'm referring to is when it's nighttime and I have so much food that I could easily just make at home and I just order DoorDash that's when I think it's about purchase so I'm gonna just call myself out on that because I feel like I do that more often than I should even when I love cooking so just overusing DoorDash I think would be my number one worst purchase my second one is my CB2 couch I love the couch itself but since living in this space and realizing like what I use and I don't use I do love the couch but I don't love that it is so low to the ground and I need a sectional because it will work better for the space so it's not like no hard feelings to the couch because I actually really do like the couch. It's just more so what works in that space. And I found that I need a sectional and I need something that's higher up because for some reason, I really just don't like low to the ground furniture. I like the look of it, but I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like being super low to the ground. I want to move the couch that I have in my living room down to my garage and then get a new couch for that space because I feel like it will make me use that space so much more. Next thing will be not getting quality furniture from the get-go. So I did this with most of my house besides my bedroom and I bought all this furniture that was cheaper because I was like, you know, down the line, I'll get better furniture. I caved and I got nicer furniture pretty quickly. So I basically just lost lost all that money on that furniture that wasn't nice enough and not exactly what I wanted 
and then I ended up caving and buying what I wanted. So had I just invested in quality from the start, I would have saved money long term. And I really agree with that with pretty much everything, like clothing, bags, shoes. If you buy things that aren't as good of quality, you're gonna have to continuously replace them or you're gonna get over them. And over time, I think you end up losing a lot more money than if you were to just like invest in quality pieces. So that is a regret I have of mine. I wish I would have just gotten good quality furniture in my bedroom from the start instead of like thinking I was saving money because I wasn't. Okay, the next thing, so many Amazon purchases of things that I just don't need. I think Amazon is really helpful and great and there's a lot of things in my house that I use from Amazon that make my life better. But I can be a little bit impulsive on Amazon and just buy a bunch of stuff that I don't need and just ends up sitting in a box somewhere and I end up like accumulating a lot of clutter that I didn't need, which then gives me anxiety. So I'm basically buying anxiety for myself. I have gotten so many incredible incredible Amazon purchases though at the same time like I literally have a video of them but sometimes I will buy things that I just didn't really need and I'm like that was really unnecessary okay this is gonna potentially offend some of you guys but my specific Nespresso machine that I have in this house I think was a worse purchase because the Nespresso I had before I did like a lot better personally like I'm just a bad coffee drinker I've realized this I prefer my Keurig it's easier for me to use Nespresso's confuse me this Nespresso in my house now confuses me. I actually really do love Nespresso's, but I wish I would have just gone with the one I had before. And at first I was really excited about it and I thought I really liked it. And over time, I'm like, it's just not the same. There's something different about it. So I don't really know. I also just like bad coffee, but I also love a good Nespresso. So it's just the specific one that I have. I feel like that was a worse purchase. I think Brooke said the same thing and I would agree with her. Next thing, my iPad Pro pins, plural, okay? The actual iPad Pro pin in itself is a great purchase. I love it for my iPad Pro, I use it all the time. But they fall off your iPad really easily and I think it's a combination of me being careless and also the product just falling everywhere and not even staying in when you have certain things to keep the pin in because I have lost probably like three or four, especially in college. I think just like walking in and out of class, I, it would just fall off and that would be like, oh, there goes a $150 pen. And it was so annoying, but it was something that I used all the time so I had to replace it. So now I keep it in a bag and I'm way more crazy about it. In the way that it's advertised and people use it, it's always just on your iPad. Like I will literally lose it from walking out of my bedroom to my office that's like literally the bedroom next to me and I just think that's not okay. Next thing, subscriptions that I have that I just haven't canceled. Like I can easily pay for less TV subscription services just by like merging them with certain people. There's certain subscriptions that I forget I'm even paying for. Actually last night I went through a whole app to tell me like what I need to cancel and there were so many. And I'm like, how did I not realize that I've been paying for these for months? Cause that's hundreds of dollars over time. Okay, the next thing would be spending too much out at dinner. I think because this is a year where I like very, I don't go to restaurants a lot like I used to. I try to like treat myself more and it's like, okay, I didn't need to get this drink at dinner. I'm not even much of a drinker anyways. That just added $20 to my tab. Just things like that. I think like just spending too much out when I go to eat, that's just, like unnecessary. I think it comes from being in my house for like eight months, but also unnecessary. I have this like three piece kitchen set that I got that was like a ninja food processor and two other things that I literally never use. I wish more than anything I would have just bought a Vitamix and then gotten the certain tools because now I have all these other things that do so many different things but if I would have just gotten a Vitamix it could have been one thing that does all of those things. While the Vitamix would have been an investment and I thought I was saving money by getting these other things, I would have one, used the Vitamix so much more, two, it would have saved space in my kitchen, and three, over time, I would have saved money, I think. Again, that's another one of those Amazon purchases that I thought I would use that I'm just like, this is confusing, I don't like it, and it's too big to like store in my kitchen. Last thing, I am the queen of this, not returning stuff. I am actually making my first Amazon return, so embarrassing to admit, um, this week. So I will be returning some gym mats and things that I bought that I don't need anymore. But I am the queen of getting too many things and not wearing something and not returning it and then just like giving it to my sister, donating, which is fine. But at the same time, like I should just return it when I accidentally purchased it. But for some reason, I just like, I don't know what it is about going to the post office that just like gives me anxiety. So I avoid it at all costs, but this year I'm trying to get better about returns. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys want to see a series of my best and worst purchases, whether it comes to clothes specifically, my house, kitchen, um, office, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.
I do feel like in our generation, everything revolves around alcohol though. And that's something that I feel like I struggle with as well because I am really passionate about health and wellness and I know how it affects me in a negative way. And I do feel pressured sometimes that I can't say no, like, oh, I don't want to get a drink at dinner with my friends because I don't want people to say stuff. Like I know my friends would be so supportive and they wouldn't make me feel bad about it.